Welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we're dreaming. Max is, uh, torturing himself because he has clearly never forgiven himself for what happened to Michelle and his baby. Or their baby. And also, this happened right at the end. Another Norse myth. For the record, uh, Valhalla is the, uh, the Norse afterlife. If you're a great warrior, you get taken to the Mead Hall of Valhalla by a Valkyrie, which is, by the way, a, uh, servant of the gods. They carry the spirits of the dead, of the worthy dead, I should say, to, uh, Valhalla, where they spend the rest of time, uh, drinking and boasting about the battles they've been in and having great feasts, right up until Ragnarok happens, at which point an army made up of every great soldier who ever died will fight on the side of the gods against the end of the world. And then fail because Ragnarok is a cycle, but you know! You get to go out in one last glorious battle, so there's that. Let's see what happens next. So far, he has uh, vis revisited the baby's body and read Michelle's diary, which reminded him that he had been too focused on work at the end. Max, no, please, Max! Why? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Murderer! You killed her! Nothing like that ever happens in a real world. I woke up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to Bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. Guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. Sorry, chair. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, I remember this room. That's where I found I the basement. was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Yeah, I remember. Uh, this is where I found the bat in the first place, actually. Right next to... Well, I examined that, and it was, uh, a cartoon of Captain Bacon. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide-and-seek with them. Okay. Uh, we're in real life. I've taken some painkillers for the beating I received. And, uh... I've got a baseball bat. Could be worse. Could be dead. Um... Yeah, the name of the chapter is The Baseball Bat. 
which I guess is this one. Okay, this is not the correct way to go. Let's throw one of these other doors. I mean, they saw me from around the fucking corner, man. God damn. That means I do have to go out there. Man! I was just telling someone this game is incredibly solid for a game from 2001, and now you're putting in a mandatory stealth sequence. Remedy! Piss drink! One Ingram, please. Only have 50 bullets. No! Hatred. Oh, that's what happened. Okay, that guy saw me, so all the other guys, uh, procked on me, I believe the term is. Shit! Need my only five bullets. Man, alive! I must be doing something wrong. I'm not to stay here forever. Wait for that guy to come back and beat him to death. It'll be great. Then I'll take his skin and disguise myself as him. I know what just said, but... Man! Even one of those elite dudes! Fuck! What? Sure. Making sure, since they all seem to be flowing in the same direction. Sorry, I thought the timer light was not on on my phone. What? Ah, okay. What now?
No, actually, I'm curious about something. What happens if I just waste these guys? No, no, no. I can't, like... There's no, like, one-hit, you know, stealth attack kill. Don't mind me. Somehow worked. Can't close it. Hope for the best. Now we're talking! All right, you sons of bitches. Oh, hey. Okay, worth a shot, but... How am I doing with ammo? Not amazingly, but it will do. Oh my. Actually, just wait for this guy to come by and then start them funneling into this room. Oh, I don't have any Ingrams. I guess those are only on the man's. Would anyone like me to repeat myself, or was the message clear? Ooh. Oh, I yes, it was in my defense. Yeah, there, that'll make it better. Both barrels, motherfucker. Fine, let's save scum this. I don't care. Okay. And he smashed his head into the wall and died. Sorry. Unauthorized personnel only. <laughs> Another newspaper caption for a murder scene. Frankie had left Oops. his calling card, 
a Captain Baseball Bat Boy strip next to a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Even my arch enemy, Bicycle Helmet Girl, swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. Oh. Oh dear. So how quaint is it that he, uh, that in 2001 they thought three murder, mur three bodies would be enough to put a mass murderer to shame? Oh, now I'm sad. Maybe it's a technical limitation thing. Maybe they wanted to put like 65 bodies in there to jam them up as high as they could, but they couldn't render it on 2001 PCs. God damn it, I've just gone in a big circle. You know, I've just realized that, given all of the industrial zones I'm in, it's kind of strange I've not yet seen a single skid. Maybe for once they're not in league with the great evil. Wait, is this where I'm actually supposed to- like, am I supposed to like, get down there and escape through the pipe? Like it's fucking Shawshank or something? Oh! I remember! I remember! Duh! I do have to go back here. There was a lock on the door. Uh... No, no, there was a lock somewhere, and I needed to shoot it off. I remember that. And I couldn't, because all I had was the bat. Shit. Am I just imagining that? That might have been from earlier today when I was filming a separate bit. Alright. I don't suppose it's just use the door. No. Oop! Oh, there is a lock there. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, definitely not supposed to open. Why did you model that? What about you? Are you supposed to open? That didn't occur to me when I was in here earlier. There he is. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, fine. I guess they're terrified. What are these anyway? Can you have to like move away to get a better review, not in closer, because then it just turns into pixels. Can tuna fish, tizzle fish? Fist fish? I don't know. Oh no. That's an industrial saw with a giant slab of meat on it. Nothing good can come of that. It doesn't normally happen before I walk into a room, but I appreciate it all the same. God, he's dead! I don't think he enjoyed that very much. I well, shout out to several people in the comments who informed me that Ingrams are actually a real gun. My bad. I guess I should have assumed that since I know Beretta is a real gun. Now, I meant to go off to the side, but that works too.
Do this N64 ass truck. I'm not even mad, that was well played. Fuck! My bones and organs. Okay. Further than that, whatever. Uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Max Payne. There are a lot more angry dudes here who need to be shot, and we're just the guy for the job. So I'll see you then. Later.